I was confronted by the founder of Garpan Ufology um, to be uh, on a panel of 30 people, one of 30 ufologists for the UF, uh, UAP, UFO, the International Academic and Civilian Ufological Community's response to the United States government, the Pentagon, and the Unidentified Aerial Task Force, UAPTF. So that means um, a six-minute video, all contest well, not contestants, more like um, participants, right? Um, I would have had a chance to um, have my work seen internationally, as you see my name's up there on the right in the international list. It's an international press conference with two hours of press that would have been in, that were in a virtual room at the same time. So why did my uh, video not go by? I don't know. I'm not going to put Garpan Ufology down whatsoever. He was uh, so amazingly kind to ask me to be on the panel, but I think something happened. Here's the real six minute video that was on the panel that day. Only you guys saw this. Hi, everyone, and thanks so much. My name is Bruce Schwartz. I'm uh, living on the outskirts of Montreal in the province of Quebec in Salaberry, the Valley Field. Um, I have a passion for astronomy, uh, for observing ufos whether you want to say ufology or observing ufos has a lot to do with the field anyways uh, first off i have no um, advanced education or diploma or certificates uh, nor do i work with any scientific association or have been directed or have fallen any courses in ufology i have a secondary five i've uh, left high school finished high school and um, went on my my own spread my little wings to explore myself there's lots going on i only have six minutes um you will will see things that i'm not mentioning but you'll be able to look at this afterwards and say whoa there's lots here to talk about um during the day this is on the moon i have a 14 inch telescope regular cameras and infrared cameras i will show one short infrared sighting at the end of this video we're on the moon for the whole video this video shows a ufo can we say fleet or several objects winding left and right um they are going at a very very high speed so the ufo report right they talk about these objects uh, the navy they caught these objects going by so fast and they too have the same reflectivity as the sky well these objects have the same reflectivity as the surface so i bring down the exposure i know it's unorthodox for some people but i bring down to, to see the moon this way i bring it down with a green filter this is why it's green don't wonder why uh, you can see the surface there it's dark but the dark helps us see these objects traveling over the surface you can quite clearly see they have the same reflectivity as the surface these objects so no in the middle of the afternoon it's 99 percent near impossible to see them yes i was lucky to be able to capture them go by once these objects go by like stepping stones on the surface they appear and disappear as they travel across the surface and again they travel so quickly that you don't see them stepping this way and the light illuminates the whole surface you can see that they are close to the surface. Could these UFOs be some of the ones that the Navy have, has seen close to Earth? They have to decide whether it's an inside or outside threat. If it's an outside threat, they're going to need eyes to see further out. If it's an inside threat, the task force would most likely be able to deal with it. I hope they're going to be able to solve the, the situation and, of course, protect Earth. Um, it's a serious situation. Um, this is an object on the moon that is traveling across the surface. It's dark because I descended the exposure. And it gives us a chance to see some of these lights. Merfikanitatis, this light looks square, um, instantly disappears but appears on the left and smoke remains on the right. And another light on the surface on the right with other lights. I'm talking fast, I'm sorry, but there's a lot going on. It's quick lifts up off the surface yet the light remains there for some reason either the heat or is it uh, energy and uh, makes you wonder almost like is this transportation right you can anyways speculating lots of theories we have lots of fun uh, on my channel speaking about them look at the instantaneous way they all move together 
So now we're really slow. Quickly, it's almost impossible to see. And again, the exposure taken down, the green filter is helping us see um, the connection with the surface. Um, I know it's hard to understand, but the color, our eyes are used to seeing green. It helps us see better. This is how, what I see. Look at these lights preparing to lift off also on the surface. Could they be the ones coming to Earth? I, I know some are going to say, well, what the heck? It's, it's a lot to, to take in. But I've been doing this for five years, and even though I don't have a university degree, um, I'm still finding pretty much the same stuff that they are finding, you know, without, uh, like, with all due respect, seriously, this is an object disappearing on the surface. Um, once in a while, I see uh, objects that have what looks like a smoke uh, coming off of them, and in clearings, and why do I say clearings? Well, there's lots of movement on the surface, whether it be haze, clouds, natural or not. Maybe these two objects are closer to the surface. I see these objects once in a while and often enough moving around. And this again, 219, there's some in 220. Um, this, what looks like a chemical reaction to the, either the atmosphere or literally like a gas, a natural, uh, it was like fluorescent yellow. This is the last one, and thanks for listen, uh, hearing me out. This is an infrared capture, 1,200 um, meters that it reaches, a regular infrared camera. This is an object that's too close to be normal. It's not a satellite. Look at the stars in the background. Watch the shape in the center change, and the illumination and lights all around will change. The one in the center is different, and here's a comparison with what I got. SpaceX satellites, look at the size. Now look at the infrared. I'm not zoomed up. This is 20 feet over my house. First encounter of a light coming down. Look at the stars behind it. This is for real. And the shape changes in the center and the thrust um, until it got smaller and took off quickly. Come 